So yesterday we ended up drenching the sheep with a heavy duty wormer. We've drenched them before, we did them late last year um, and we thought that they would be okay um, but we did a fecal sample last week um, and it came back with a moderate worm count so or an egg count in the fecal matter so we had 600 eggs per milligram which isn't too bad um, it could be worse let's just say that but because we lost the two sheep um, when it was cold we thought maybe um, a worm load contributed to that so maybe um, they weren't in prime condition to handle the cold weather um, it was cold but it gets a heck of a lot colder up here um, it got down to about 13 degrees Celsius so we certainly do get lower we get down to zero um, at the worst so I'm not really sure not really sure I'm not really sure why it happened but we decided to drench them anyway just as a precaution um, and because we're getting um, more rain coming um, that's when worms become more active so didn't really think anything of it and we've penned them up in this yard here just to keep our eye on them and as was walking as we we're walking past this morning I saw a big tapeworm come out of my favorite sheep Oreo so gross um, so we definitely needed to do it that wasn't pleasant <laughs> um, but yeah um, it's good to have that done so we'll keep them in here for three days we'll get another fecal test done and then in two weeks we'll get another fecal test done just to make sure that the worm counts come right down um, and then we will um, reassess then we'll reassess what we have to do and like I said in previous vlogs I hate using pharmaceutical drugs if I don't have to so the plan is to um, worm them naturally um, with uh, consultations with vets so keeping up the worm worm testing um, and if we're finding that we can't keep control of all of it, of it naturally and um, then we'll kind of go back to the pharmaceutical drugs but we'll um, yeah we'll play that bite yeah so um, in two weeks we'll reassess if we need to give them another dose of um, a commercial drench uh, and then we'll kind of do like a monthly or we'll kind of figure out where we need to be at but we're thinking monthly treatment um, using herbs um, testing maybe quarterly with the vet just to check um, the worm counts low enough um, and the sheep aren't being affected in any way <laughs> Uh, hello madame yeah so yeah we'll keep you guys updated with that we'll um hi barry hi barry hi madame <laughs> yeah so we'll just monitor our situation um and then hopefully we can keep doing this naturally um but if not we are like with our family if we can't control whatever we uh, trying to treat naturally then we'll resort to um, mainstream medicine but that's it from us today guys it looks like it's about to start raining which is awesome i didn't think it was going to rain today um, but we will see you guys tomorrow so this is what tape worms look like in sheep feces you'll be able to see the worms come out once you've wormed them